Hey Gemini Collector, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope y'all are doing well. Let's get into this collective Gemini reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip the rules if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you I'm picking up on. Now we're just going to tell y'all a very random message that Spirit just gave me. I don't know if it has anything to do with your reading, but I kept hearing the word landscape, landscape. And it's funny because we do have river with a lot of um, trees, a forest around this um, surrounding this river. But I don't know if someone has a landscaping business. Somebody could be a roofer. I'm seeing roof. Um, but I don't know. Somebody could be like a fixer upper, like somebody who knows, who's very handy. Or you could also have a business that's, you know, predicated on um, repairing things and building things. I don't know. But anyway, your overall energy is collaboration and cooperation. This could have something to do with a Capricorn, somebody you work with. Hmm. Okay. But we do have river here. Flowing waters and riverbank views. There could be travel indicated in this card intuitively for me. Could be a long distance too. That river goes on for a pretty long um time so there could be some transition okay this is also giving me the six of swords but what i'm picking up mostly is that there's all this water here emotions right relationships connections feelings surrounded by all this green green space right all this greenery all this uh they don't call it vegetation do they what do they call it y'all know what i mean it's a forest right it's almost like this is a balance of the feelings with being very grounded. Hmm. Some of you could be dealing with a younger water sign. Because I don't know if you all know, you probably don't know, but the pages are all earth mixed with their given element. And so I'm picking up kind of like this water and earth. And the only time they're really combined in the tarot is in the page of cups. So this could be something very much connected to your emotions your feelings right we have roof i feel like you have a new perspective on someone you were trying to collaborate and cooperate with maybe they were not cooperating with you i don't know um but we have overhead shelter protective canopy and rooftops you could live with this person there could be some kind of separation going on here i asked what your message should be for the day what did you know spirit wants you to know we get danger ahead it's like if you move forward with whatever this emotional connection is, there could be some danger ahead because it looks very unknown up ahead, right? You don't see. And this could be a long time coming, okay? I said what's coming towards Gemini Spirit, we get for the love of money. So that could be this green energy too. The emotions are outweighed by the forest. The forest is definitely more vast than the water, right? So this could represent money, green, earth, right? Pentacles. There could be somebody that's in it all for the money, okay? What's going on in your thoughts right now? We have don't rock the boat. This is staying out the way, playing it safe, and this is six of sports energy. Well, I tell you what, you are protected because your spirit guides are here, but this is also about moving to calmer waters, y'all. What in the world? It says avoid confrontation at this time. Your actions may cause trouble for you. Hmm. Okay, but it's about healing and calm waters, okay? It's a positive change. It's a positive change. This is what's on your mind. You may be trying to heal something with someone that, yeah, it may not be for you. Ask what's going on in your emotions, your relationships, your connections now or in the recent past. We get dysfunctional relationship. Somebody ain't right, y'all. Somebody ain't right. Show me danger ahead. We got the queen of pentacles. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. Capricorn energy, king of cups. See, you got the contrast of the earth and the water. You got the king of water and you got the queen of earth. You cannot make it up. This is actually not a bad pairing. These two could definitely work. This is my situation. I'm a queen of pentacles dealing with a king of cups. <laughs> and it definitely works, right? But I told you it needs to be more balanced. There's something about the emotions here that are not quite right. In fact, the king of pentacles has his back turned to the water. I need to see more about that. I just feel somebody's coming in the name of love, at least pretending to, but it's really about financial status or gain. Yeah, we got the devil here. This is you cutting ties with this devil. Strong Capricorn looks like some of you may need to 
get up out of here. Okay. I see you kind of releasing this codependency. You may have already cut this person off. What's for the love of money? Nine of Swords. Gemini, that's you with regrets. Sleepless nights, trauma, worrying, anxiety, eight of cups. Yeah. Yeah. This person's going to like come in and use you and then walk away. This is you down on your knees and they're just walking away. It could be a Pisces or another Gemini. There's definitely a feeling of somebody not being who they represent themselves to be. And look what she's walking towards. She sees something else off in the horizon and she doesn't care. She's, she feels like her happiness is elsewhere. Wow. It looks like she's even put some fire in this cup. Do y'all see that? The cup of love is on fire. It's sitting on top of the water. Jesus Christ. Show me don't rock the boat in your headspace. We got the seven of pentacles in reverse. Okay, seven of pentacles in reverse talks about a bad investment, y'all. Okay. Could be with the Taurus or you could be on the Taurus Gemini class. Show me more about the seven of pentacles. Very impatient feeling. You may really want to take matters into your own hands. Yeah, but look what you need to do. Don't rock the boat, King of Swords. Head over heart. Be very logical right now. Yeah, some of you are seeing this for what it really is. You're seeing the truth of the situation. That's you, Gemini, as that King of Swords. Also, could be an Aquarius you're dealing with. Show me dysfunctional relationship, please, Spirit. Three of Cups. It could have been a friend that you started dating or somebody you had a lot of fun with. Judgment. Yeah, you're making a judgment call on this. March 20th could be significant. September the 8th could be significant. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this is running its course here. I don't think you'll ever forget this person in the memories, right? But it's like, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> yeah, you're moving forward. Somebody was trying to keep you stuck. What are they doing? Um, spell work on you, trying to keep you stuck. But there's a lot of reflecting going on right here in the future. This is you manifesting something for yourself. But there's some healing that has to take place first. I see a promotion here for some of you. Definitely, yeah, a new beginning in love. There's a new love coming in. It could be with a Cancer, an Aquarius. We got Divine Masculine here with um, Aries Energy with the Emperor. Virgo with the Hermit, the Magician. You got a lot of Major Arcana. Virgo, and then we have um, the Magician Gemini Virgo. Hmm. Some of you are still in this connection with this Eight of Swords being here, Nine of Swords. We don't have a Ten of Swords. You're still in this uh, dysfunctional relationship, but you're trying to get out of it. You're trying to manifest something new for yourself. All right, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Peace.